What is up my fellow Andronauts? Floortech is a probiotic that you probably have never heard about that can increase your testosterone. There's only one study on it, but it luckily it's in humans and has been shown that it actually works to increase your testosterone. So let's dive into the specific ingredients and I want to show you the benefits and how it works and how it can increase your testosterone. Let's dive in. So this was a study where they used Floortech and it was for six months on LH and your testosterone. So LH increased by 23%, testosterone increased by 16%, estradiol by 6% and prolactin decreased by 8%. So the increase in estradiol is fine because the higher testosterone goes, the more estrogen your body is going to create automatically. So LH went from 4.4 to 5.7, testosterone from 25 to 30, which is a nice increase. It's about 160 nanogram per deciliter. Estradiol went from 16 to 17, so it's already low in these guys. And prolactin went from 8.3 to the 7.7. So quite nice changes. 160 nanogram per deciliter increase in testosterone. But the only thing is, it was quite slow. As I mentioned, the study was over six months. Now I'm going to show you the ingredients in this. And then if you use much bigger doses, you might be able to get much faster results. It has also been shown to improve fertility markers. So sperm count almost doubled. And we have motility went from 16 to 42, which is a massive increase. And then the volume of ejaculation went from 2.4 to 3.1 milliliters. So it's also an increase in the volume. So if, if you want to shoot more, this might actually help you do that. So the probiotic consists of mostly the main ingredients was paracassi and then also arabinogalactans, which is a prebiotic. So paracassi is lactobacilli paracassi, which is a probiotic. And the arabinogalactan is a prebiotic. Right, so let's dive into the benefits of each and exactly how they work. And then I'm going to link products below that you can use larger doses of to get faster results. All right, so paracassi benefits, it modulates the gut microbiome. So the mechanism specifically is that it can colonize the gut and contribute to the balance of intestinal microbiota. It competes with pathogenic bacteria for the adhesion sites on the intestinal mucosa, thereby inhibiting the colonization and growth of harmful bacteria like E. coli and Clostridium difficile. Right now you have two kinds of adhesion. You have the non-specific, so this mainly affected by the molecular hydrophobicity, thunder volts forces, and the electrostatic gravitational forces. This is basically when the bacteria in the mucus in the intestine, and you can easily get rid of it, you just poop it out, right? Or you use fiber that scrapes off that mucus and you just poop out the bacteria. It's not really that big of a deal. But then you also get specific. The bacteria attaches to mucosal receptors in the intestine via adhesins. So here you can see these are the receptors. The E. coli senses them, binds to them, and it's much harder to get rid of that. So the paracassin inhibits the bacteria by it competes for the adhesion sites on the intestinal mucus. So what I, I really love that because it competes and it displaces them and your body can just get rid of them. So instead of using an antimicrobial that kills them and you get die off sometimes and those kind of stuff, none of that. It just competes, you poop it out. No sometimes. This is why I really like a paracassi for improving the gut microbiota. It enhances the enhancement of gut barrier function. The mechanism is that the bacteria has been shown to strengthen the gut epithelial barrier by promoting the expression of tight junction proteins such as occludin and zonulin. These proteins help maintain the integrity of the intestinal lining, preventing increased intestinal permeability, which can lead to systemic inflammation and immune activation. So this is a healthy gut. You can see there is no gaps for things to come through and zero inflammation. You have these tight junctions between the cells and they are kept together by things like occludin, zonulin, claudins, etc., etc. So when you have leaky gut, there is now gaps, right? These proteins become destroyed and there's now gaps for pathogens to come through and the immune system react to them, creating a bunch of inflammation and eventually like autoimmune conditions, right? So the probiotic enhances these proteins that prevent leaky gut. Immune modulation. The mechanism is this strain can modulate the immune system by interacting with the gut-associated lymphoid system or gate. Geld. The paracassi stimulates the production of anti-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 10 and TGF beta, while also inhibiting the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines like TNF alpha and interleukin 6. This results in a balanced immune response, reducing the risk of chronic inflammation and autoimmune conditions. Because inflammation lowers testosterone. 
So paracetamol in, um, increases bacteria that's anti-inflammatory and it lowers the bacteria that's inflammatory, leading to an overall reduction in inflammation. Wonderful. Additionally, it enhances the capacity of the dendritic cells and the macrophages, promoting the differentiation of regulatory T cells. This is all part of the immune system, which plays a crucial role in maintaining immune tolerance. So again, just lower inflammation. Then it also has anti-allergenic effects. It promotes the secretion of A, IgA, in the gut, which plays a crucial role in neutralizing allergens and preventing their absorption. Additionally, by regulating trach cell population and promoting anti-inflammatory cytokine production, it helps to downregulate hypersensitivity reactions. So you have an excessive reaction of the immune system and histamine, creating like clogged nose, inflammation everywhere, skin issues. So it prevents that hyperstimulation of the immune system by increasing this IgA that binds to the toxins. Then we also have an enhancement of skin health. The mechanism primarily is reducing oxidative stress and inflammation and calming the immune system. It has antioxidant activities. The mechanism is enhances the activity of the antioxidant enzymes, again, like superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. It cleans out free radicals, prevents oxidative stress and inflammation, just improves health overall. It's also been shown to improve digestive function. The mechanism is it enhances digestion by promoting enzymes such as lactase. So it can actually help against lactose intolerance or actually help you to tolerate dairy better. It has a potential role in weight management, and this is by reducing low-grade inflammation and increasing the production of short-chain fatty acids, which regulate appetite. So let's talk about arabinogalactans, right? It's a natural polysaccharide derived primarily from the larch tree. And the benefits include immune system modulation, enhances gut health by enhancing the growth of specific bacteria like bifidobacterium and lactobacillus. It promotes respiratory health, it improves liver health, by promoting the detoxification processes in the liver. It has been shown to increase a bile production and secretion, which aids in the elimination of toxins and waste products. Additionally, it's the prebiotic effect that can reduce the translocation of endotoxins from the gut to the liver, thereby reducing hepatic inflammation and the risk of liver disease. It's anti-inflammatory, enhances wound healing, antiviral properties, and enhances the absorption of nutrients by just improving gut health in general. So it has a lot of benefits, but here are some unique benefits that other prebiotics doesn't have. It's just not, it's not just a random prebiotic. It has unique benefits. So it has a low risk of gas and bloating. So other prebiotics like inulin and FOS has a high risk of bloating, right? So not everyone can use it because it causes side effects. So this has a low risk of gas and bloating and a lot of people tolerate it quite well. It supports liver health. As I mentioned, it enhances the production of bile and then also the excretion thereof, which helps with the detoxification of toxins. It is a broad spectrum bacterial stimulation. So it helps to stimulate the growth of a lot of beneficial bacteria. So unlike other probiotics that may target specific strains of bacteria, arabinogalactins promote the growth of a broad spect spectrum of beneficial gut bacteria. This wide ranging effects help to create a more diverse and resilient microbiome microbial community in the gut, which is associated with better overall health and improved resistance to pathogens. I have looked for Flortech everywhere. I cannot source it. Even people that live in Spain, where it's being produced, really struggle to get hold of it. But as, and also the specific paracasi strain that they used is also very difficult to source. So what you can do instead is you buy a regular lactobacilli paracasi, and then you also buy the arabinoglactin sign. We'll link products in the description for that. So you can use much larger doses, get the same benefits, but faster and hopefully even bigger benefits because the doses is going to be bigger, right? So bigger doses would mean more results at a faster pace. So link is that for that in the description below. All right, so I hope you learned something new. I am really fascinated by how the gut modulates testosterone levels. So this is why I really want to focus on that more and more people have gut issues even though they don't might not realize it and this is what is keeping testosterone low so if you can improve gut health with paracasi and arabinogalactans your testosterone will skyrocket so if your diet's already on point this might be what you need so if your diet's already on point but your testosterone is still low this is exactly what you might actually need all right guys so if you learned something new i will check you in the next one cheers guys